Let me show you how you can enhance the support processes of Neptune applications by using ITSM connector for SAP, which is a uh, certified SAP add-on that you need to install on the SAP server. So this is a Neptune launchpad where we have one demo application. I will open it and um, let's say I have an issue here. Maybe some records do not show up, something is misconfigured um, or anything like that. And uh, I want to submit a ticket to the service desk. So in that case, in the top right corner, we have uh, one extra menu item here called support ticket. This appears if the ITSM connector for SAP add-on is installed on the backend system. So um, let's just press it and see what happens. We have a pop-up window where I can enter a subject, maybe something like booking not found, uh, test. And um, if you press the submit ticket button, then the um, incident will be created in the external ticketing tool that is connected. The product supports a lot of different ticketing tools. Today I will show you the integration with ServiceNow. But before pressing the button, I will show you how easily you can add attachments and screenshots as well. You can add attachments if anything is relevant to your problem with this button. But now I will press the save button, which um, temporarily hides the main window so I can take a screenshot by simply pressing the print screen button and now you can see there is an extra button um, indicating that there is a support ticket creation in process so if you press that um, the main screen appears again so I can simply press Control V to paste, uh, paste the screenshot I can repeat this as many times as I want so maybe if uh, this tab sheet is also interesting for the uh, problem then I just press print screen again come back here and press paste so now I have two screenshots I have the subject and the description completed and I press the submit ticket button so now the ITSM connector for SAP application on the back end creates the incident in service now uploads the screenshots and further attachments and then I get a notification that this ticket was created in ServiceNow. You can click on that link that takes you to their service portal by default where you can um, have a little overview of the ticket that was created. But uh, let's now log in with the service desk user so we can check out the incident in detail. All right, so this is the ticket that was just created. The first big benefit of the solution is that um, the routing and categorization is done automatically. So in this example we have the category set to software and uh, subcategories SAP. We have the business service populated. The configuration item is the SAP system itself. Um, the open by and caller fields are set to the SAP user, the Neptune user. We have a new contact type so you can see that this was directly sent from SAP. And the assignment group is also populated uh, based on the rules that you can define. So if you have a dedicated Neptune um, assignment group with people responsible for supporting Neptune apps, then you can route the ticket directly to that. You can also route it based on uh, the type of the application. So maybe a finance related app will go to the finance team. Um, sales and distribution related app will um, go to the sales and distribution assignment group and so on. Here, of course, you have the input of the um, end user. And the next big benefit is here, you have all the attachments. Here we have the two screenshots that uh, I have taken. Additionally, you have an authorization report, which is the output of um, transaction SU53. In this case, this is empty because I'm logged in with the super user. Um, there is a PDF file attached with a lot of information um, about the uh, backend system, the user, you have the list of components and so on. And we have an attachment uh, with Neptune specific details. However, I will not show it that um, in an Excel sheet format, but I will scroll down to the bottom and go to the SAP technical details tab. And here we have a lot of information um, regarding the uh, system, the user, and so on. Whatever you've seen in the uh, PDF file is uh, here as well. 
but we have captured a lot of Neptune specific details here so you can see the uh, version numbers, the theme, a lot of um, things that is <coughs> that are useful for the developers uh, if this ends up at a developer then um, this is a lot of valuable information the, the themes that are used, the, the user data, URLs and so on really is for uh, full for debugging and the next really interesting section is um, is here because the program also captures the uh, business context so if you don't have a technical issue like an authorization problem or, or a network issue or whatever uh, but you have a business related problem then everything is captured from the screen so you will have the exact sales document number or uh, material number that uh, is problematic and so on so it's much easier to reproduce the problem and uh, to um, provide a solution all right um, so having all this information and the uh, routing and categorization done automatically will help you to solve Neptune related problems much quicker you can speed up the ticket resolution process save time both for the end users for the service desk teams and for um, everybody who is involved in the process of supporting SAP systems with Neptune applications.